fast. The whole time I've been fishing it slow and they wanted it fast. This is a pretty nice fish. Hi, I'm Brian Spinner from the White Dog Trail Company. I want to talk a little bit about what we're doing today. It's mid to late November. It's a pretty cold day. It was about 34 degrees when we got here. It's maybe in the upper 30s now. The water's cold, but the water's up. We had a little bit of rain, and um, we had a bad summer where the water has been pretty low. The water's finally come up and is up to a nice level now. Now, I'm primarily a fly fisherman, and I really enjoy fly fishing, but when I'm searching water, or especially when the water is up and oftentimes in the colder weather I like to go with some spinning gear once in a while and so we started off this morning with a spinning rod um, and basically a, a Rapala X wrap my setup for this is, is quite a bit different um, there's actually a braided line on here because there's no stretch in braided line which means you can feel every little thing about what that X wrap is doing um, I feel every bump and I don't even have to really set the hook with these fish. Um, I feel the fish hit and I just kind of lift just a little bit and it sets right in. I also use a fluorocarbon leader up to probably 10 feet or so. Um, I don't want the fish obviously to see the line so the fluorocarbon leader is really good for that. Um, two different things have kind of been working with the spinning rod today. Um, in the faster edges of the current that are right along the banks, um, it's worked really well if I rip it fast and keep it coming. I've had some nice fish that way. Um, and then in some of the other open, slower pools where the water's moving, but it's, um, it's a little bit slower, um, I've kind of, I'll cast across, I'll twitch it and twitch it and let it swing a little bit, twitch it and let it swing. And I've gotten a couple that way as well. So um, I would always say, definitely always change up what you're doing and try to figure out how the fish are gonna be reacting. There are days where I have to leave it almost dead still out here to get bit. And there's days where um, they really want to crush it when it's moving. It's a reaction bite. They see it coming by and some of the bigger fish will really move for these things. Um, I've caught a lot of big fish on this setup right here. Well, that one took it slow. Stop jumping, stop jumping. Wow. Man, that was fast. That was right off the... Yeah. 